Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Dr. Psych Mom Show. Today, I wanted to clear up a very important topic. But before I do that, I've realized from listening to like some other podcast, which I did to survey the competition, um, you know, like podcast with a million listeners, that's totally my competition. Anyhow, people seem to tell you to subscribe at the beginning. So maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Subscribe to my podcast. If you get, if you subscribe, then you get paid content. Also, you go to the top of the list for answering any questions that you have. Also, you will make me happy. And I do these to make everybody happy. So that is only fair. All right. Anyhow, back to my topic at hand. I'm going to see if my PSA in a different place worked, by the way. Um, Here's hoping. But anyhow, I want to clear up this uh, common misconception that men have that women are withholding sex when they're upset. So men tend not to understand how women's sex drives work until they listen to all of my podcasts, which hopefully can help them. But, you know, just like women don't understand jack shit about men until they try. And my podcast good for that, too. But anyhow, men have this misconception that a woman is withholding sex that she wants to be having purposely when they're upset. This is a very bad myth because it makes men think that women are these real shrews that are very nasty and evil and have bad intentions and are unempathic and that they're almost like these monsters because the woman in this way of thinking is cutting herself off from sex that she wants just because she's mad. You see, probably, if you're a loyal listener, where I'm going with this to dispel this illusion. Let me tell you, it does not work for women like it does for men. So a man can be really angry at a woman unless she just like ran over his mother. He's still going to want to have sex. You know, depending on who the mother is, he may want to have sex more. No, I joke. (laughs) But listen, if it worked like that, if women and men were the same, then if a woman withholds sex out of being angry, then yeah, you know, that's something to be mad about. She wants it, but she's just not doing it to spite him or to punish him, or to make sure that he knows never to do that again because a negative consequence will happen. Those would be very nefarious sorts of malicious ways to live. That is, though, has no relation to what actually transpires. As I've discussed ad infinitum, the woman in her natural state, a monogamous female in the wild, does not want to have sex, doesn't have a sex drive. I equated it in a previous episode to a piece of drywall she is in a dormant state she feels nothing about sex either way she's just going about her day living her life right then what happens is she starts to have sex with you assuming that she feels close and loving enough to get herself mentally into the headspace where she wants to please you because you're a good guy she loves you look at all the nice things you do you're really trying she remembers your whole history together and there she's in the mood to try remember not in the mood before sex not aroused before sex but in the mood to try to get aroused meaning you begin to have sex and then within like 10 15 minutes you'll notice her breathing changes she's actually now into it in it to win it instead of just you know faking it so not faking faking women should never fake orgasms i've made that very clear um not that men know when you do even the most wily detective has no idea when a woman fakes an orgasm but unless she's like world's worst actress but you know what i mean is she's faking it like putting a smile on living into the life she wants to be in she is trying to act attracted to you because she's trying to be a good wife and then within a little bit of time her responsive desire so refer back to that podcast on responsive desire will kick in and she'll want to have sex but when she's mad at you she doesn't want to get to that place she does not want to do the internal work to get into a loving frame of mind where she wants to be generous with her body and her time and see if this time she's going to get into it no she doesn't want to do that because she's mad so she's dormant she doesn't want to have sex which is no different than a usual day but this time she's actively angry so she doesn't want to have to go through the mental gymnastics that are often required within a long-term relationship and to get into the mood so what you're basically saying is that When she wants to have sex usually, when you have sex usually, 
she's doing you a favor. Now, oh, everybody's so mad. She's doing you a favor. She isn't really doing you a favor. I mean, most directly, she is doing you a favor because you want it. She doesn't want it. But she also wants to be happily married. And she also wants to be in a loving relationship. So she's doing the marriage a favor. We could put it like that. People will like it better. Men will like it better. Women, stick to doing him a favor. This is more like what it feels like before you're in the mood. Then it's everybody's doing everybody a favor in a best case scenario. But anyhow, so you got to think of it different. The baseline is she doesn't want to do it. So when she's mad at you, she doesn't want to do it. And then why is she going to do it? No reason. There's no reason. Yeah, sure, to be a good wife, etc. But she doesn't think you're a very good husband right then because she's mad at you. So it's not like she's stopping herself from sleeping with you despite her desire which would be disingenuous, she's being more honest than she usually is. She doesn't want it, and she doesn't want to try to get in the mood because you fucked up something in her mind. So it isn't what many men, um, like there's a very misogynist slant in some of the message boards and stuff about men who aren't getting laid. I can understand this. It's not your favorite gender when you're not having sex with it. Um, Cool. But you got to really interrogate some of those cognitive biases. The misandry is no good and neither is misogyny. The first means not liking men. The second is not liking women. No gender can be characterized as all bad. And I call this out whenever I hear it in my female or my male clients. This usually indicates an early uh, bad experiences with in your family of origin where you learn bad things about the gender that you are currently maligning that are corroborated by your marriage, which you pick that person because of your early life experiences. But this is uh, an aside. What the point is here is if men start to think that women are malicious and manipulative and they're like, I I really hear this, that they are specifically not having sex. They're withholding sex that they want. These men are very optimistic. Sex that these women want. There's the optimistic part. Because they're mad. Then, yes, you're going to hate not only your wife but all women. This is not true, though. You got to think about it in the more positive spin, which is any time we have sex, she doesn't want it. So I'm glad we have sex at all, quite honestly. And if we have sex at any sort of regular frequency, let's say you have sex two to three times a week, about two per month of those she's ovulating and maybe thinks I look cute beforehand and all the rest she's doing to be a good wife. And so I ought to be happy that she's trying at all. Maybe you want her to try a little more. Cool. Directly state that. Try to be a good guy. Be romantic. All the ways that I tell you to seduce your wife without actively trying to turn her on with the sexy, quote, sexy pictures that she doesn't think are sexy. Refer back to my podcast on why not to try to turn your wife on, why that doesn't work. But anyway, try to be a good guy. uh, Talk with her openly about your needs, etc. to have more sex. But don't forget that the sex that you're currently having That is sex that she doesn't start out wanting to have. So when she doesn't have sex because she's mad, she's just going to baseline. It should be in her most authentic self, quite honestly, as depressing as that sounds. And because she does not have the headspace or the bandwidth to try to inauthentically, but very well-intentionedly, try to get into the mood to be with you. So... Problems arise if men also are in this position constantly because there are unresolved empathic ruptures within the marriage that make the woman hate them constantly. And therefore, the wife never, ever wants to get in the mood because she remembers all the ways that you have run afoul of her in all these decades you're together. In that case, you've got to get to couples counseling. This shit isn't going to get any better. Believe me, she's not pretending not to want to have sex. She doesn't think about sex ever except with disgust and contempt. And that's the same way she thinks about you. So you need to get into couples counseling right away because either she can get through this with a lot of work from both people or she can't. But you don't deserve to live in a sexless marriage with somebody who hates you. And she doesn't deserve to be in a sexless marriage with somebody who she hates. You know, and that is a different situation. The situation, that's like a total uh, dead bedroom celibacy, really shit situation. But the situation that I am trying to elucidate for you is the situation where men think that because so let's say it's Saturday morning and your wife because she listens to my podcast and she really is in it to win it here she's trying to be good she says oh I can't wait till later right and that means you're going to have sex in the code of your marriage and then 
uh, you spend the afternoon on the couch watching football like some sort of hulking behemoth that is just ingesting food, does nothing with the children. You don't engage. The kid has his swim lesson. He has his festival. He has like all this shit. You don't get up at all. You don't text your wife. You don't do anything. You're really kind of not even present. You think she's going to want to have sex at the end of the night? No. But some men really do think that the woman, because she said it in the morning, now follow the logic, because she said it in the morning, they don't know about responsive desire, they assume she was feeling spontaneous desire, right? And so because they think the woman is like a man, they think all day throughout swim lessons, throughout the fall festival, she is tamping down this desire. And then at night, this desire is going to come out like a lion. No, no, no. That wasn't, none of that was happening. That was all delusional. She was trying to be a good wife in the morning. She was trying to have a game face on. She was in a happy mood. She felt connected. She was thinking you were not going to watch football and you were going to go to the fall festival that she talked to you about last Tuesday. Instead, you did not do that. I don't know what transpired. Probably some poor community communication on both parts. But either way, you did something that very much disappointed her, whether or not that is fair in your mind. And then it is not like she is now repudiating these waves of sexual desire that emanate from her body. They weren't ever there in the first place. In the first place, she was trying. So now she's just not trying. Like she thinks you just weren't trying all afternoon. So in her mind, that comes out to be completely fair, what's good for the goose, etc. So This one is going to be a short podcast because I really just wanted to address this one huge myth that men have, and it really makes them hate their wives, if not women, uh, altogether. Because, yeah, that would be a person who's cutting off their nose to spite their face and a very spiteful, passive-aggressive person who is deciding that, like, instead... So, so for example, if you want to, like, run an experiment, see if your wife masturbates on those nights. If she does then yeah, she's being spiteful. Like seriously, for every rule, there's an exception. So if if, if you're laying in bed and she says, yeah, well, this morning I was going to have sex with you, but now I guess I'm just going to have sex with this tremendous vibrator. Well, yeah, all right. Then she's being, you know, not the greatest person. And this really amplifies my original suggestion that you ought to get your asses into couples counseling. But probably she's just going to go to sleep in the same sex drive neutral dormant state that she ever was. And that can prove my point. She did not have any desire in the first place. She was trying to be extra good. And when you were bad, she said, fuck it. I'm not going to be extra good. Why? So if this can help you understand even anything about your sex life at all, forward it to your wife. Discuss it. If this cleared up even one iota of conflict and ambivalence that you have had, thinking that maybe your wife is just this really miserable, cruel person, then you know, that's great because any little bit, any little change in your paradigm for the better can really help your relationship as a whole. So thanks for listening, guys. I already told you to subscribe, so I don't have to do that again. And I could just tell you all to have a good weekend. Bye-bye.